Hello everyone, this is Jonathan from Reser World Technical Support, and this is a video on how to edit your theme in Shopify. So I have here a pretty much a blank canvas on a Shopify site, brand new, has no images, um, has the basic text here, and uh, always comes with a featured collection, which is your your inventory that just you have that featured collection check mark in Liberty when you enter the item, it'll it'll go to the featured collection area. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to sign into our Shopify backend. Uh, we do that by opening a new tab, and then we go to our Shopify URL, and we add a forward slash admin to the end of it, and we hit the enter key. This is going to take us to our administrative center. Next, we go to the online store option to the left here. And then from here, we can customize what theme we want to use. It is possible to go to the theme library and look at your free themes uh, by clicking the explore free themes option here. And you can also visit the theme store. Now, some, some themes are going to cost a little bit more than others. It just all depends on what look you're looking for. I'm going to use the standard debut theme, and then we're going to customize it by clicking the customize button over to the right. So from here, everything that you have access to edit is going to be on your left hand side panel and the order that you see in the panel is actually the order that is on your site so the first thing I'm going to edit is the image at the top of the site so I'm going to go ahead and click on this resale world trading Shopify store which is text that's already been typed in it's going to ask me if I'd like to select an image so I'm going to go ahead and click select image so I have a few pre-selected images that I got from the free image library which is also available to you a rule of thumb, if you want to go ahead and take a picture of your shop, um, I would recommend doing a Google search like, like this. So I'm going to open up a new tab, and we kind of need to figure out what the image dimensions is or what's recommended for that theme. So in my case, my theme is going to be debut. So I'm just going to search up what is the image recommendation or the image size recommendation for this theme. Ah, here we go at the very top it even says here so if we click on debut theme slideshow here the very first one now we'll see some other people already did the leg work so that's the recommended image size so uh, for now what I'm going to do rather than take an image of a store and kind of go through that process uh, we're just going to go ahead and use one of the pre-selected images here so I'm going to select uh, this one right here so as you can see, it automatically fills in. That's exactly what your site's going to look like. And we hit, uh, we just hit the select button at the bottom left. So a couple of other neat little features at the top here is uh, it'll actually show you what it looks like on a mobile phone versus a computer. So if I switch this down here to a mobile phone, you'll notice that it's kind of a just the right size for like an iPhone or an Android phone. Uh, middle button takes you for right, what it looks like on a computer. And then if we want to expand that even more, we can we can just look at the entire site as if it was a preview in front of us uh, without that left menu bar. Uh, for now, it's easier for me to edit in the monitor option here for a computer. The next option we have is the image alignment. So we can choose whether we want to see the top of the image, the middle of the image, or the bottom of the image. So as an example, here's the top. So as you can see, not much of the middle image there, just the top of it. Uh, back to the middle, which is what we had before. And then finally, the bottom. So I think the middle one looks the best. I'm going to select that. Our heading option here for the text corresponds to this. So if I just check, if I set this up to our fake store name, it'll automatically change that uh, that text option. So I'm going to go ahead and change that back. There we go. Uh, the text here. At, uh, below that corresponds to the text that appears underneath the image text header. So if we change this text here, it's going to change this text over here. The section height changes the size of the entire layout here uh, for this image and for this text. So if I want to make it bigger, I just select uh, medium. And that actually gives me a little bit more of that image. doesn't take up too much space. Um, and you can go all the way to extra large, which is a huge uh, section for that, uh, that title image. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to medium because I think it definitely displays a lot more. 
And then finally, the button label and the button link. If we want to go ahead and have it so where you can click on this text here, it goes somewhere, you can actually put what that link is and what the text label is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I like, I like how this looks. And then we're going to go back uh, one to the top left. There's a little back arrow here. So next I want to edit this area right here. So I'm just going to click on the image with text here because that matches or that corresponds with this. Now I'm going to select my image just like we did before. And we'll go with the, the, the carousel wheel here, image here. All right, uh, close out of this or select this bottom. So same thing with the with the layout. We can make the image on the right, image on the left. So if I wanted to be on the right of the text, I can do that. I'm going to put it back to where it was. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll put it back on the right. It looks better. There we go. Okay, and then uh, the image with text, we can just put this in and we can just say uh, what this is. And then we can type our text out, and that'll, that'll actually replace what's in this area here. So same thing if we wanted to, to create a button link, we can send it to a collection. Uh, we can set it to our policies, anything you want. It'll actually, if they click on this section, it'll take them to that link. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then we'll go back again, top left corner, uh, back arrow here. Featured collections already been built in. Um, featured collections already built in. It's just that checkmark box in Liberty when you checkmark featured on an item, um, it'll go straight to this collection. That way you can showcase your more prestigious items. So I want to go ahead and add another section to this. Uh, so we're going to click add a section. And then we can add other things to this. So maybe I want to add, instead of only doing a menu option at the very top for my collections, maybe I want to add a collections list. So I can click on collection list here. And then I'm going to add this section. So from here, I can specify, well, how many collections do I want per row? Maybe I want like the max is five. Kind of makes us the, it makes the images a little bit smaller. And we can change this header over here. We can say that this is uh, store collections instead of collection list. And there we go. So I can edit the individual collections or what each one of these entries corresponds to by just clicking on the entry on the left. I can select the collection. So maybe this one I want to be tops. And as you can see, it fills in the collection with the image of the item that's already at the very top of tops. Uh, we'll hit select. I can also edit the collection if I want by clicking edit collection. It'll take me straight to that collection so I can see what items are associated with it. Uh, I can force an image to be the standard de facto image if I want a professional image to always be like that rather than the very first item that's on the list. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit my second collection here. And we'll select a motorcycle here. And there we go, there's my motorcycle. And then finally the third collection, I'll add something else. say women's apparel all right now I can add even more collections to this if I want uh, so that way it's right in front of the page so we just hit add collection and we can as you can see it fills in another spot I hit select collection and then I can check another item uh, we can also load more at the very bottom and there's some other ones and then I can click select and that'll add that next one. So I can just keep adding more collections if I want and fill this up. And then when I click save and back, I can now move this, this store collections area, maybe above featured collections, maybe that's where I prefer it. You have complete control of where all these options uh, show. So now I just moved store collections by just dragging and dropping this little option where I want it in the list on the left. And as you can see, it changes its relative location on the website uh, based on where I drag it. So maybe I want it below featured collections. It'll be below, um, it'll be below featured collections. Or I can move it up above featured collections. It'll be right in between the two. And I'll just hit save. And 
Next thing I'm going to talk about is our theme settings, which allow us to change the the overall color of uh, all the text. It kind of lets us change the font type, the size of the font, all that and more. So we get to that option by clicking on the theme settings button over here at the top left here. And then we can start with our colors. So I'll click on colors. And then I'll start at the very top and we'll let's go ahead and change what this text looks like or the color of it. Um, so we can click on our headings and links, which corresponds to this area at the top, and even our headings that are in the middle here. And uh, it's real time, so if I wanted to see what this looks like in blue, I just drag this, and you can see the colors actually change as I move them around. I can even go with another red if I wanted to. It'll, uh, it'll actually change that as well. So that's, uh, that's how we change our actual color scheme. I'll change it back to what it was originally. We can also change our background color by clicking on the background option here. Uh, I can see what this looks like in red. So we have, literally have control over every aspect of our theme. And of course, some colors are going to look better than others. So I'm going to change this back to our standard white. And then I'm going to save this. So that, that corresponds to pretty much everything on your site text-wise. Uh, we can change the text of the actual body text by clicking on body text. Um, your borders, if you want to add lines to, to certain things, uh, you can change that just by clicking on each of the options. I, I definitely do recommend you experiment. There's no harm on this. As long as you don't click that save button, you're not going to change uh, anything on your site permanently. You can actually uh, fiddle around with this until you get it just right, and then you click save, and then that'll be your live site. So as long as you don't click that save button, there's no damage that can be done to your site. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button here. Uh, next thing I mentioned was our typography, which is our font. Uh, so if I click on the typography, I can say, well, I want all the headings and buttons to be something different. So I can drop this down and let's see what avant-garde looks like. So it definitely changes the text style here. Uh, maybe I want to change the size of it, make it a little bit bigger. I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and undo my changes, which is kind of a nice feature of this. If I don't like what I just did, I hit this button right here. Uh, it's the undo button at the bottom left. And everything gets reset back to the way I wanted it. So same thing with the body text. I can change the, the text of the body, uh, which is the any anything below the headers. So I can change this to something else. I can see what Candera looks like. I don't really change that much. Let me try something else. Uh, let's do Droid Sans Bold. Yep, so slight change there. We can change the base size as well. Do 18 pixels here. A little bit bigger. So, and then uh, I can also undo this if I don't like what I did, which is what I did before. And I'll hit undo again. Just keep going back until I find what I was working with originally. And there we are. We are back to work sans. So I'll go ahead and save my changes now. Or I guess in this case I don't have to because I'm back to where I started. Uh, next thing we have is social media. So we can add our little social media buttons at the very bottom of the page. Um, I already opened up my Facebook page uh, to show this off. So I'm just going to take uh, my home page, and this will be your store home page, and we just copy the link uh, from our home page here into the Facebook area. Now I'm just going to paste that in. So once I click Save, uh, we'll notice that the, the Facebook icon will actually appear on our site, and there it is. So if I click on this Facebook icon, it takes us straight to my Facebook page. Now, we can do this with other icons as well. So if you wanted to add something for Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, everything that you see in this list, if you add uh, the actual link entries to get to your page, all the buttons will appear at the bottom of your page. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Save button, and I'll go back. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Back button here. Our favicon has to do with the icon that appears on our site. So this will be the top left uh, icon here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on favicon. And my site is empty. So if I look at my state of mind site, I'm just going to do a control F. And we'll notice that the icon at the top left, our favicon, is a standard world symbol, which uh, doesn't really correspond to our branding of the store. So I want to change that. I'm going to go ahead and make it 
uh, one of the ones that uh, I created. So I'm going to click Select Image. Uh, we go ahead and click the Upload button at the top left here. And I already had one created, so I'm just going to double click on the one that I made. And there it is. So I selected that. And then when we hit the select button, that'll be our new favicon. Definitely want to click the save button. So now I'm going to go back to our Shopify site. I'm going to do control F5 on my keyboard. And there's our new favicon. Matches our branding as part of our site, makes it unique to us. And then I'm going to click the back button again. Finally, uh, we can change our checkout options, which, what appears during the checkout phase. Uh, we click the checkout button here. And then uh, maybe I want to change the background image of, of what I see on the, the checkout page. So I'll go ahead and click the select image option here. I am going to select this image here. We can also change the logo. We can also change the main content area image it's, uh, that appears in the background. And then finally, our order summary image that appears when the, when the customer is about to pay and they get to that order summary page. You can also change the color of the accents, the buttons, and, the, and any errors that might appear during the checkout process. So I'm going to see what this looks like when I actually buy an item. Uh, just this one thing I changed. Make sure you save. I'm going to click on an item. And I'll add this to my cart. So let's go ahead and check out. And there's that image that I put up at the top. So again, everything that we go under checkout corresponds to this page. Uh, when you continue to shipping and then they get to the order area, then we're going to see the order summary, uh, the order summary background image if you want to have one in there. So I'm going to hit my back button. Another thing to look at is under theme actions at the bottom here. Um, you can definitely view your theme. If you have some HTML knowledge or you know what you're doing, you can definitely edit the code to the theme. This is a little bit more of an advanced uh, method here. And you have access to all your theme files in this area uh, template-wise. So unless you know what you're doing on this, I highly recommend you just kind of stick with the basic theme options that you have, and you'll find that it'll take you a very long way. This was a video on how to edit your theme on Shopify.